What's up, Internet world? We're the News 19 Nerds. And you're watching Press Play. Bam, 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 bam! Welcome to the premiere episode of Press Play. I'm Michael Patterson, and this is... Leroy Green. We are the News 19 Nerds. You usually see me behind the camera and him in front of the camera, but we're going to try and do stuff together in front of the camera. This is our first show, so um, it's going to be... Rocky? Weird. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to do my best not to curse. We'll see and what happens. Stay on track. I had another name for the show that got voted, vetoed real quick. We couldn't do that no, name we, of the show. It was inappropriate. You can figure out what that was. I mean, I do believe it got us clicks, though. It got us clicks, but also maybe fired. Um, but moving on, doesn't matter. <laughs> so the point of this show is to talk about the stuff we like to talk about. Every time, there's always something new going on in pop culture, in the nerd world, and we're going to talk about it. We may not hit every topic that you want us to talk about, but we're going to hit the ones that we think are important. So what are we talking about this week? Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is Disney ruling the world. Um, this week, we, I mean, honestly, social media, uh, any type of media you think about, Disney. All right, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. All right, before you tell them everything about it, give them a little tea. So what else are we talking about? Oh, so Disney ruling the world. What Disney else? ruling the world. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about Disney ruling the world again. We're going to talk about streaming services. Then we're going to talk about this. <laughs> oh, yeah, Batman. I'm, I'm just just gonna so throw it out there. So, what are we talking about, the Cape Crusader? Uh, one, this is a brand new issue from. This is the first issue from DC's Black Label. Uh, it's been controversial. I don't know why. I kind of get it, but we'll move on to that. Uh, we're also going to be talking about your favorite topic, video games. Sure. Yeah. Lots, lots of video games coming out. PlayStation is Classic that, was announced. Is that your favorite topic, or is I Turtles mean, your favorite topic? Oh man, that's like a Sophie's Choice. Uh, really? Which, yeah, I mean... Is Turtles... Re whoa, t time out. Is Tur... You're, you're really having a hard time right now? Yeah, between man. video games and Turtles? Turtles is life. Turtles is just one Tur thing. Video games to, is to everything. Par to paraphrase someone we used to work with, Turtles is bae. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so let's get Keep into going. it. Yeah. Um, that's it. That's it? Yeah, I mean, All we right. got four Short topics. Sweet. All yeah, right, so I mean, first topic. First topic... Disney's been ruling the world. Uh, this week you had the... So what do you mean Disney's been ruling the world? So you way? had three trailers drop this week from Disney that were pretty much killing the game. Beginning of the week you had Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. Middle of the week you had Captain Marvel. Uh -huh. And today you had Wreck-It Ralph trailer two or three. Is that the second? It's the newest trailer. You the had, newest you had, trailer. You had a new trailer. So there was a teaser, Ralph. there was a teaser, a trailer. This is the second trailer. Yeah, Wreck-It so, Ralph breaks the internet, newest trailer. Um, yeah. That's three trailers that came out from Disney that are coming out in movies that are coming out next six months that's big for disney so why are you saying they're breaking it why why are they ruling the world what, because what about them? other than batman nobody else has talked about anything other than those three things that i've seen i mean you what are your facts to prove this i would say mary poppins has six point x amount of million views okay captain marvel and this is just on their Disney official page. on their official page. Right. Captain Marvel, last time I checked, had over 28 million views. Okay. Uh, Wreck-It Ralph, I haven't looked because I know we're doing a trailer reveal, and I didn't want to look, but that already has over a million views, and it just came out today. Okay. Um, I mean, as far as, like, internet talking, if you look at Twitter, those th three things are trending right now. Mm -hmm. Disney is really pulling out all the stops with going all in on their movies. Um DC has two movies coming out in the next two, the Shazam and Aquaman. Aquaman, Aquaman in December. And they have a streaming service, and you hear a little bit drip, mm -hmm. drip about DC. Yeah. They're 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 not even touch. They're not even breaking. They're not even breaking trending on Twitter right now. I think they're not even in the top ten of trending things. Okay. Captain Marvel's number one. So you talk about Captain Marvel. We have our own Boom. Carol Danvers here. Uh, so what about that trailer really stuck out to you? Uh, one, that you don't know what's going on. You do and you don't. Right. It's not an origin story. It is. It gives you an introduction to the character. A lot of people don't know who it is. So you said it's not an origin story. How do we know it's not an origin story? From the people who've been doing interviews, mm -hmm. they're going to give you a backstory of who the character is. Okay. But it's not an origin story as like Captain America was, like Iron Man was. It's more so going to be along the lines of Spider-Man Homecoming. Okay. You're going to see flashbacks of who she is, mm -hmm. how she got here. But it's not going to be like, oh, I'm growing up and going through the progressions like you saw in Wonder Woman. Okay. Uh, it's, okay. it's, I think it's a really good trailer. It leaves a lot to be discussed. Samuel L. Jackson looks like he's might have been 57 in this. 
Samuel Jackson honestly reminds you know what he reminds me of? Who does he remind you of? He reminds me of the Samuel L. Jackson in the Triple X series. He oh, I don't remember that's, what his name is. That's what he is. looks like. That's what he looks like when he's Minus got the, the two scar eyes. Yep. Or whatever, but that's what he looks like. Yeah, now I can't even think of who that character is. I don't know. Uh, leave a message below in the comments and tell us who it is, and we might talk about it the next time we're on the air. That, that's what he reminded know. me of. What did you think of the trailer? I'm excited. I am really hyped for I what mean, Captain. The, the, to be fair, I bought this from Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Oh, so you didn't care that this came. You just wanted the. Yeah, everything. I didn't, came I didn't buy it. Yeah, I just bought the collection oh, edition because okay. I just had money to burn and I'm a dummy. So, <laughs> I'm not happened. mad at you. Yeah. Um, and it just happened to work out that she was Cause the, one of the featured characters. But I'm excited because I don't know much about Captain Marvel. So I'm just excited to see where this is going. Like, So we've had, what, at this point, 20 movies? This would be 21. This is 21. This is 21 because yeah. Infinity War was be, 20. Yeah, so this will be, well, then that's 22, right? If Infinity War was 20, Ant-Man and Wasp was 21. You're right. I, I, sk don't know. I skipped right matter. over that. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We're in phase four. <laughs> I don't know what phase we're in. It don't matter. But <laughs> tell you, I mean, quite sure you'll correct us. Yeah. So <laughs> I've, I've watched all the movies since 2008. Iron Man said it all. You know, I am Iron Man. That started everything off. It's been great. But now we're getting our first female-led superhero movie in the Marvel Universe. Yep. And that's going to be incredible because Wonder Woman was great. It did a lot of new things, a lot of creative things. But now we're going to get Marvel's take on what a female can do, uh, an empowered female who gets her own centralized movie. So I'm just excited to see what that brings. We saw in the trailer, we saw somebody else walking with her, Photon, right? Yep, ooh, Monica Rebeau. So I mean, that's gonna be pretty bam, cool bam, to see bam, what bam. that is. Um, we don't know who the main villain is yet, or at least I don't know who the main villain is yet based on the trailer. We it know there's be scrolls. It could be Jude Law, it could be, we don't know. Yeah, could, could be scrolls, I don't know. But I'm they excited are a to villain see. in the movie. Yeah, I'm ex and she punched a lady. She punched an old lady in the face. That's a scroll. But I'm so I'm, I'm all so for either it. she punch she just likes punching old old ladies in the face. I'm all for punching people in the face. I don't care if you're young or old. Anybody can get it. Anybody. Shot. These fired. hands are Raider E for everybody. <laughs> just, she says, "All right, fair enough." <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's what I'm excited. Simon Pei punched the old lady in um, Hot Fuzz, or did he kick her? Remember, he hopped over the fence. I think he, mm. I can't remember. He did. They he, took out a bunch of old people in that movie. They did do damage to old people. Old people got it in that movie. Town. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm all for old people getting movie roles, being villains, superheroes. I'm all for it. I want to see a superhero movie with all old people. Just old people just like. Punching people. Just knocking. I'm talking like taking, I mean, taking millennials down. You, you kind of had that in red. See, that's. That, yeah. Red is my movie. Red, you know red that, too. You know that was a comic book too, right? Yeah. Great. Warren Ellis. It's all connected. Shot us out the Warren Ellis. That's my favorite writer. Um, okay. I'm sure he'll see this and like it in the comments. Oh, man. I'll we'll let you know if he sees this. He probably won't. I really want you to see this. All right. So <laughs> but getting back to this whole. So I that, say this, this trailer's great. I watched the um, on Twitter. So mm -hmm. I watched some of the feedback on Twitter. One of the women um, who tweeted at Brie Larson said that she watched the trailer with the classroom. And all the while, all the times that she's had superhero movies, they talked about it. All the girls in the classroom said superheroes are for boys. Mm -hmm. This was the first time she said that she noticed the girls when they watched the trailer said that we can be superheroes too. Now, I'm not knocking Wonder Woman. I'm, it might not have connected with some people. I love Wonder Woman. The first two thirds of that movie, I was like, I want to have girls right now, dress them up, punch them. I wanted a horse. The first two thirds, why not the last third? The last third went super, like, super weird. It turned into oh, a video with, game. With the, Aries, the love yeah. and the. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't even mind that. I just, it just, it, it was, was, it was, it was last, weird. last boss level. It was like, yeah. it, it would really, if you notice a lot of these movies at the end, they go CGI heavy. And you don't need that. Like, right. the first two thirds of that movie, was amazing. Yeah. When she walked across that no man's land, and that little girl, I love that little girl. Um, but she tweeted at Brie Larson, this teacher, about how the reaction was to her girls in her classroom. Mm -hmm. And Brie Larson was like, well, maybe we need a Captain Marvel challenge, like with Black Panther. And so I think, like you said, I think that's a great thing that you're now going to see because girls like toys too. Girls want to punch people in the face. I'm all for it. Barbie everybody, continues to be successful for a reason. Everybody punch somebody in the face. I we well we, oh, we here at News 19 are going to advocate punching people in the face. I'm just saying that the the views and exp and opinions of Leroy Green do not reflect <laughs> News 19 nerds. So hey, we'll get in, that in out the streets, the way now. anybody can get it. I'm just saying. But I mean that's that's okay. the wonderful thing about this movie is that you're now going to see Marvel's trying to encompass and trying to grow up and show a different side. Because I'm be honest with you, all along it's been straight white males 
being superheroes. Yeah. And now you get to see in the Marvel Universe a woman step up, a girl step up. And one of the things I thought was very interesting was they Step up in a featured role. In a featured role. Because the the we've, we've, we've seen Scarlet Witch. We've seen Scarlet Witch. We've seen Black, Black Widow. Widow. Yeah. Um, we've seen Okoye and all those people. <sighs> right. Yeah. Man, now Okoye Funko Pop, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But the cool thing I thought that they edited in the trailer was she kept getting knocked down. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, you saw her hand and that power, and she got up. I think that was very cool, really cool moment in the trailer. Okay. Um, so we talked about that trailer. We talking? Are we talking Mary Poppins? Man, you didn't even see Mary Poppins. Did I don't you? even care about Mary Poppins, son. I like Mary Poppins. Captain you don't like Mary Marvel. Poppins, Captain. but <laughs> super califragilisticexpialidocious all day. Don't care. Julie Andrews for life, son. Dick Van Dyke. But I thought you just if she's for life, why wouldn't you like? I don't care about the remake. I'm, I'm off. I'm, oh, I'm that's over. what you're saying. I'm over oh. these. I'm over it. Like the, my Mary so Poppins. So you're throwing shade at like Emily Blunt. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just saying I don't need another Mary Poppins. I have the original. Okay. All right. Shim chimney, chim chimney. I mean, I don't need anything else. I okay. got my Mary Poppins. All right. And don't you touch sound of music. You heard me? Who are you talking to? Whoever's out there watching this who's like green lighting this stuff. Because they're watching us? Yeah. Sure. I All got right. dreams, son. <laughs> All right, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. You heard me, right. Disney. So we talked about Mary Poppins. We talked about Captain Marvel. Wreck It Ralph. Wreck It Ralph. Now, as a, when we filmed this, we haven't seen it yet. I'm sure it's hot fire because the first movie was great and the trailers have been great. We just don't know exactly what happened you in have, this newest trailer. You've got to watch our trailer reveal. Our last trailer reveal was with Lauren Thomas. I loved having her on there. Our next one's going to have your mother. Who? Who? What? Alicia. Oh, sure, Alicia. Yeah, yeah. this. I mean, she's agreed to it. We'll see if she actually does it. I don't know. She go do it. Okay. She, she, I mean, she was excited about it. Okay. So Plus, next, I'll, next her, topic. Her reaction. Okay, so that's Marvel killing the game. DC, I mean, oh, sorry, pause. Disney killing the game. Disney killing the game. Now let's move from movies to DC. Um, ah, I keep saying DC. I don't know why. Where, where are we going next? Streaming services. So okay. Marvel announced that there's going to be two new shows on their streaming service. They're working on two new shows. There's going to be two new shows that okay. they've already confirmed through Variety, that's where I got it from, and THR, uh, The Hollywood Reporter. Thank you. Loki and The Scarlet Witch will have two limited miniseries. Okay. And they're going to and they're going to be reprising their roles, Tom Hiddleston and Elizabeth Olsen. So you're getting not just a series, you're getting Avenger level people in a TV series, a miniseries on Disney's new streaming service. So you said miniseries, you mean like it's like Agent Carter, like eight episodes. It's style? gonna be it's gonna be a miniseries. They're talking about probably eight episodes. They okay. haven't announced how long they're gonna be. Okay. I'm guessing they're gonna be an hour. Uh, they're gonna be exclusive on Disney streaming service. Disney is going all in on the streaming service. I question, mean, question. Um, how Loki gonna be in the show? That's the question. We don't know if it's Good. gonna be a prequel. I mean, we we don't know. Okay. Um, spoiler alert. I think that next snap might be permanent. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't come back from that. I, I mean, I'm just saying. Pre-snap? Oh, yeah, you quit. But it. you have seen him come back from some other nefarious deaths, so I don't know. I'm just telling you that Disney and slash Marvel are throwing money into this because these are supposed to be $25 million a piece. That's on top of the $100 million they're investing in Star Wars, mm -hmm. their Star Wars show. The Clone Wars is coming back. The last season of the Clone Wars, they're going to have a Lady and a Tramp uh, live action movie. They've announced a lot of different things for this streaming service. It's supposed to come out late 2019. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be uh, cheaper than Netflix. Disney is... That's a, that's, that, that's a, threat that's a big point. I think a big positive in their, in their you know, big arrow in the quiver, if you will. Being cheaper than Netflix is pretty good. Netflix is what, nine ninety nine, eleven ninety nine? I have no idea. It just comes out of my check. Honestly, yeah, I don't even know what I pay for it. But well, being I mean, cheap than that is pretty good. Like if they could get seven ninety nine or five ninety nine, I mean, honestly, I would probably pay nineteen ninety nine a month. Um, but, but being cheap than that would be even better. But this is the question: It's Disney. Disney owns ESPN. They own part of Hulu now. They own uh, some of the Fox. They own some of the Fox library. Uh, Eventually. Ev so it's going to be family friendly, so you're not mm -hmm. going to see Aliens vs. a Predator or anything like that on there. But you're going to get. You're not going to see Sinai Lathan on there? Nah, you're not oh, going to see that. So you, right. But you're going to get family friendly programming mm -hmm. on this channel. Mm -hmm. The question is do they bundle that with Hulu, with ESPN? Because I'm going to be honest with you, if you gave me a Disney streaming service that has all the Disney movies, mm -hmm. all the Star Wars movies, um, has all the Marvel movies, new scripted shows, 
and you gave me, you threw it ESPN, and I can stream everything ESPN does, I'll pay twenty dollars a month. That's a good deal. I mean, and, and then you got you throwing Hulu, you throwing some other stuff. I'll pay twenty. I mean, because you're going to get ABC shows. Right. You're going to probably get Blackish. You're going to get Fresh Off the Boat. You're going to get all the old uh, ABC programming that they have. You're probably going to get all the Disney Channel stuff, all the Disney tunes. What Disney? Like what? High School Musical. High School Musical. Because they already talk about bringing that back. All right. Sure. Um, you're already going to get um, probably Freeform. Okay. So yeah. you, I mean, so you get Grownish and all that stuff. And I mean, alone. To get, well, probably not alone. You're probably going to get Cloak and Dagger. You're going to get. I don't know if you're going to get Cloak and Dagger. But it's on Freeform. Yeah, but that freeform is a little bit more grown ish. But uh, the, but the thing is, uh, we don't know yet. Yeah. But the yeah. throwdown that Tom Hiddleston is reprising his role, Elizabeth Olsen is reprising her role, her role, and you're going to get twenty five million dollars thrown in to do a limited series. That right there is already challenging DC streaming service. That's why I was thinking DC. I couldn't remember because why. Because their streaming service. Because their streaming service has been released. So. Are you going to get the DC streaming service? I'm st Alan Wallace, shout out to Alan Wallace. He tweeted at me Alan. this week. Um, they just announced that they casted the woman who's going to be in the Stargirl show. Okay. I'm, I'm oh, still Star like... Oh, Stargirl. She yeah. was in... See, a, 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 well, a show you don't watch, Legends mm -hmm. of Tomorrow. Yep. But she was in like a cameo type mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, so they've it. announced who that's going to be in their show. Okay. Uh, their Titan show. They've got Doom Patrol, Titans. Swamp Thing, Harley Quinn. Uh, they've remastered their Batman animated adventures. They have a lot on their show, on their streaming service, but it does not contend. It's a niche audience. So, it's seven, to it's, wrap this up, yeah. are you getting the DC streaming service? Uh, probably Best not. You're I mean, get. I'm honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I need, I fun. need to see more. Yeah. Um, but, but Disney streaming service. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm okay. sold. And this is the thing. Disney already, Netflix already has me. Disney already has me, and they haven't even launched. CBS has a streaming service I did not get. Uh, who else has? A, I have Amazon Prime only because I can't. I'm impatient, and I like two-day shipping. Um, but I get HBO. Um, it's almost coming to the point where you're now having a cable bill. Yeah. And Netflix is already preparing for Disney's arrival because th this week they've announced that they're going to have a live action Avatar show. Mm. Now, before you get mm. upset, look, it's with the creators of the original so Avatar That show. has me excited, because Sh 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 Shyamalan, Shyamalan? M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan, Shyamalan, whatever. He didn't get the show. He, 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 did, he didn't understand. He didn't even pronounce the character's name He right. did not. And that really upset me. I mean, but, but that's fine. Whatever. And they, and they So I'm excited that they're doing it, because part of that team also worked on the new Voltron animated show that was on Netflix, and which, is, is, aren't which they the, is good. Aren't they the same guys behind Dragon Prince? The Dragon Prince. I mm -hmm. haven't watched it yet. It's on my queue to watch. Now, one of the things that really got me was that they, that, that they announced was it is not going to be whitewashed. It is going to... And now, that, was, that was huge. That is huge. To, to, to have, actually come out and say that was to a have, big deal. And then and to like have that. the original creators of the show, the people who worked on it, saying, hey, we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Netflix is preparing for DC's initial... Whatever, whatever Disney comes out with, Netflix has got their hands up. Because I believe they're going to keep, they're going to be able to keep the Netflix Marvel shows because I think they're too adult to go to oh, for Disney. Sure, for sure, yeah. um, They're preparing to lose all the Marvel movies, so you're starting to see. You, we talked about earlier today. Um, Jamie Foxx has been cast in a a Netflix Some movie. Some sci-fi thing with uh, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yeah. So you're seeing more Netflix stepping up with their original programming, preparing to lose this major catalog. But hopefully, we'll get like good stuff and not bad stuff like Bright. I like Bright. Well, I mean, it was. Uh, Bright's not good. It's not good, but the Expendables aren't good, aren't great. Oh, I don't want to say they're not good because I don't. That, I don't need y'all coming for me. He's about to uh, fight right now. So, no, I'm, Expendables is life. What no, are you saying? I'm talking about all it them gives dudes. Me life. I'm talking about all them dudes in Expendables. All them dudes is Jerry. That's old people kicking. Ooh, I almost said it. <laughs> Probably. I get one. I get one. You don't get any. I, I disagree. This is not. We're not rated like by the MPPA or whatever. You, you don't get any. But that's fine. I, I, I feel I should get one. But anyway, none of those dudes is under 50 years old. And all Terry of Cruz them. Terry Crews is under 50? Who? Terry Crews is under 50? Probably not. All of them do. He's probably the youngest dude on there. Avery in the audience, look that up and tell me if Terry Crews is under 50. Yeah, Thank check you, that. Check that. Um, Shouts out to Avery behind the scenes and Adam behind the scenes making this all work. Other part of News 19 Nerds. Yeah. So. Um, he's actually 50. Boom! At 50. You said under 50. I said nobody's under 50 in that movie. All right. Audience, that. audience, what did I say? Boom! Okay, so my point is, 
I forgot where my point is. I was so, so keep moving. Right. What's next? But ba back to the streaming. Back service. to streaming. Yes. Okay. So back to the streaming service. Mm -hmm. Netflix is preparing for Disney to pull their stuff. Even though Bright wasn't good, it was entertaining, and it set up a whole new world. So we could see maybe a, a, a mini series. We could see another movie. They've gotten rid of the writer, the original writer, who was problematic. So maybe we'll see better worlds from these movies from the streaming services because I think all of, I think there's room for all of these streaming services: Disney, Amazon, Hulu. Netflix, you've got CBS, you've got DC, who else? Well, here's the That's thing. That's six, right? You got there. six. I haven't done the math, but I feel like even if you had all those separately, or you had you had all those together, it's still probably cheaper than a cable bill. No, which is I think it is. I don't I don't think so because if you look at my it, my cable bill would be kind of expensive. Damn, how much you, cable you be watching? Don't you worry. got a DVR, don't you? I got a DVR. Oh, I see, got several DVRs. I cut. I, I cord. We clipped the cord, man. We snip, snip. Um, <laughs> Got rid of it because I'm because I'm, I don't really and other than sports I don't need cable. All right. Because but this is the thing I think I, honestly in my heart of hearts I don't think the DC service is gonna make it. I think the DC hot service takes? I think the DV I, hot take number one this is my I think premiere episode hot take number one hot take number one uh -huh. I think the DC episode the DC uh, streaming service is gonna fold into another streaming service. Hmm. I think either Netflix or CBS. Somebody bigger or Amazon is going to allow you to subscribe to that for a lower price because I don't think they can survive on their own with all those with all with all that they're offering. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's enough because the only people really subscribing to it are nerds, and you need more than you that. You need more now. You, you, you need, need more. more than that. You right. need you need a subscriber base, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it's great for a hundred dollars a year. That's the same price as Amazon Prime. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I would rather have Amazon Prime. Boom. Than so DC's I mean, I'm I'm not knocking it. I haven't watched it, so I can't comment. But it just isn't enough to attract me. And my favorite character is Batman. Mm -hmm. My favorite character is Batman, and it's still not enough to get me because I would just go out and buy the DVD versions of the remastered Batman animated adventures. Okay. So so talking about Batman, what's next up? <sighs> I don't even want to bring this up. But you, you put it on the list. I did. I put it in the rundown. So you want to okay. talk about it somewhat? I want to talk about it because. It's hot right now, so this is the first issue for DC's Black Label. All right, so DC's Black Label is their Mature Adventures line or Mature Readers line. This is the first issue from Brian Azzarello and Lee uh, Burmi. How do you say that? I, Bur I don't. I'm, I'm not gonna. I, mess I don't want to butcher this dude's name. Bermejo. Bermejo. I don't know. I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't want to mess up his name, but I love this dude's art. Okay. Um, the reason why this is popular, one, it's prestige format. It's magazine size. It's six ninety nine, but that's not the reason why this is hot. Um, why is it hot? Because no, now knowing you can't show. Oh, but, I'm not. Okay. I mean, I'm, I can flip through it. The, the, the art is great. That's not it. So this is John Constantine makes an appearance. Dead Man makes an appearance. There's a new character shown in here. Um, there's Dead Man right there. The reason why this book is hot is because Lil Wayne makes an appearance Lil in Wayne, this book. the rapper? Or? No. No. What do you mean, Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne. Like Lil Wayne. Wayne Jr. Wayne Jr. Like, yeah. on his person. Down. His downstairs. His downstairs. Nether his shows regions, on his the screen. Is in, 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 in the panels. In the panel. In the panel. Yeah. Um, okay. So, that's why this book is hot. Mm -hmm. um, right now, I contacted the three comic book stores here in Columbia. Um, Scratch and Spin ordered... Because I get out the math. Show I, us the, well, show us your work. <laughs> so I talked to Eric um, Woodard from Scratch and Spin. Shout out to Eric Scratch and Spin, one of my favorite comic book stores. All right, so so the other two aren't. There are, but I mean, it's one of my favorite. I'm getting to them. I'm okay. starting with Scratch just, and Spin. I'm making sure you show everybody love. All right, so okay, so Eric hit me up, and because I asked him how many copies did they order, mm -hmm. Eric says. We ordered in total 100 copies between subscribers, books for the shelf, and reorders since the release on Tuesday night. Since the story broke about the nudity in a book, lots of people come in looking for the book. Lots of speculators searching for it now. They're going on eBay starting at 12 and going up from there, basically doubling the cover price. Remember I told you it was $6.99? This book is already selling for base $12.99 on eBay. Um, we are currently sold out but have more on order. Hope to get some more as soon as possible. He, they're going to second print. But the digital. Bat Junior Bat Junior is going to be edited out. If you get the digital copy of this book, it's already edited out. 
Um, uh, that's from Scratch and Spin. I called um, Ray Hunter at Cosmic Race. Ray said that they ordered 14 for the shelf, not including subscribers. He already sold out today. Shout out to Ray. Shout out to Ray, Cosmic Ray. Race. Second Ray. favorite. Well, no, my other favorite. Another favorite uh, of mine. All, all my, you know what? All my, all comic book stores are my favorite. I, I love I, all my children. I love yeah. everybody. Like yeah. it's for different yeah. reasons. Okay. But I talked to Ray. He has 25 extra copies coming in, but he's like, I don't know if he'll be able to get them because he doesn't know if the books are going to go out that they already have mm -hmm. and they're going to recall those. But I checked on eBay. The lowest book I saw was $14.99. I've seen two copies of this sold for $59.99 of this book that just came out. Wow. And the only reason why it's being driven up that price is because of the, the controversy and the bat member that was... In put in here. Right. My problem with this is twofold. One, if you read The Watchmen and have the original Watchmen, you saw a blue penis. Dr. Manhattan was just, just, just doing it. He was just doing it. He it was in the movie. It was, he, it was there. Th I mean, thank you. Yeah. So you saw it. So I have a problem with that. This is a mature reader's book. You know what you're getting into when you buy a mature reader's book. Two, comics has a real big problem with putting women in very suggested positions, showing nipples, butt cheeks, different, all that stuff. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. But the first time a guy is shown, it's pandemonium. So I have a problem with that. It's a double standard. Yeah. Um, that's my problem with it. I want the book to succeed because I think it's a great book. We hadn't even talked about the story. The Joker is dead in this book, and Batman supposedly might have killed him, and he no. doesn't remember. That, that's kind of cool. That seems like, yeah, nobody's like that. talking about the story in this book. They're all talking about Lil Wayne. The little, you know, yeah. but that that's the thing that bothers me about the book because you're the controversy. Yes, is driving up sales. That's great. I always like to see comic books sell. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about the story. Let's talk about the fact that this is a prestige book. This is something you would see on a newsstand. It's beautiful. All the books are going to look like that. There are six titles that are coming out. Let's it does feel good in your hands. I mean, it, um, that's it, what I'm saying. Like the paper it, feels good. It, it, it's a nice feeling. Comics you know. have grown up, and yeah. I feel like this is a grown up book. Yeah. Um, I love the, the, the marks on it. It's the book one. These are, I'm, I cannot wait for all of these books to come out. This is the first one. The next one's coming out. It's called Batman Last Night from Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, who will be at SC Comic Con in Greenville next year. Shout out to SC Com, Borderlands Comic Book Store, another one of my favorite comic book stores. I love them all. Wonder Woman Historia, the Amazons from Kelly Sue DeConnick and Phil, Phil Jimenez. Wonder Woman Diana's Daughter by Greg Rucka, artist not yet uh, released yet. Superman Year One, which has already been delayed, Frank Miller and John Romita Jr., uh, and the oral history of the DC Universe from John Ridley, artist to be named later. So these books are going to be awesome. You named all this stuff. I've already forgotten all of them. But basically, your 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 Trinity: Batman, right. Superman, Wonder Woman. Right. They're and all an, getting different stories. All getting different stories. Adult featured books. So they're, and it's not just about nudity. It's about adult situations and themes in these books. So is the plan, if these are successful, they'll expand to other members of the Justice League? Or we uh, don't know I don't that. even know if other members of the Justice League. I think they're going to do, this is DC's version of, Marvel kind of experimented with this called Marvel Max, hmm. um, where they had um, adult-themed books. The Punisher, uh, Wolverine had one, uh, Nick Fury had one. They were still comic books, though. They were mm -hmm. still in the small comic format. DC has gone big. I mean, this is this is a nice book. I cannot, I can't. I mean, the Batman on the back, the Joker is dead. The lettering, it jumps off the page. Like if you saw this, you would pick it up. I mean, you would just pick it up to flip through because it looks like a magazine. Right, right. So there's six of these individual series, depending on what they think the character will do well in an, a, an adult setting. I mean, you could see more books like this in a vertical line. I'm excited. I'm just upset. Or I'm not upset. I'm irritated that we're focusing on that wrong. instead of the, the story. And, and again, and it's stuff. it's it's a double standard because we've seen female superheroes in Half all, dress, all kinds of whatever, all kind of positions. Frank right. Cho, I love Frank Cho. We've interviewed him. I love Frank Cho, but Frank Cho has made a mint on putting women in suggestive situations. Mm -hmm. His art is beautiful, but he people are outraged about that. And then you do this, and then I'm tired of the outrage. I'm okay. just so right, let's get topic. to the story. Uh, last topic. Your favorite thing? Ninja Breaking. Turtles? No. My bad. I, yeah, we already established is, from the beginning of this episode it was I'm Ninja Turtles. Right you caught that. yourself into that. Yeah, so, no, Dece video games. December the 3rd. Uh, What's happening December the 3rd? PlayStation is jumping in on, in on the 
Classic what, line. Is that what it's called? The classic line? Because they're, they're calling it the PlayStation Classic. Okay. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't know if it's called the classic line and or do you know retro why, gaming. Yeah, do you know why they're doing December 3rd? No. Nah. Well, that it's was, 20, it's, uh, no, it's 25 years. That was the year when it came out in yeah. Japan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's um, why they're doing it for that December 3rd. Okay. So I, Worldwide I know, December 3rd, okay. 99 bucks. It's 99 bucks. You get a miniature version of a PlayStation with two controllers, HDMI cable, yep. everything you need to yep. hook it up to a modern TV. It's going to come with 20 games. Which, um, which games are coming out? So we don't know all the games yet. I we know, know four five. Of them. We know five of the games. Which five you know? Uh, well, we got <laughs> Final Fantasy VII. Boom! I got that one. Tekken Three. Got that one. No, Tekken Four. Uh, no. Tekken so four. check that. Tekken Four wasn't on PlayStation One, so that was cute. You look it up. I'm look, looking it up. Keep look it up and look dumb when you're wrong. Um, <laughs> Tekken Three. I want to say Wild Arms. Wild Arms, yes. I want to say Ridge Racer. Ridge Racers Type 4, yes. Ridge Racer. And what else? Um, oh, I don't know what the other one. Uh, Jumpin' Jack Flash? Jumpin' Flash, yeah. Jumpin' Flash. And what's the fifth one? You said I, five. I did say five. One, two, that was five, right? Four, five. Oh, that is five. Yeah, that's five. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean. Avery, look that up. See if I was wrong. I thought you were looking it up. I got distracted and I need to put my phone down because right. right, I'll go in up. So, we got 15 games we don't know about. So, so that, that kind of leads us to speculate what do we think is going to be on there. Maybe Metal Gear? <laughs> I mean, I would hope for Metal Gear. This is my question. Why only 20 games? Is it because of the size? Because these are some big games. So we talked about it. I don't think it's because of the size, because the way technology is now and the way they can compress files, you can play PlayStation, I mean, not legally, but you can play PlayStation 1 games. Not legally. Not legally. Don't, you didn't get that from me. But you can play I PlayStation 1 games on an S in Super Nintendo Mini. Okay. Their compression algorithms will let you do that. Um, this may or may not have PlayStation games on it. Games you don't know. Right, but we're, what we're trying to figure out was Tekken 4 on PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. Check that out. Good job, Research. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's Avery's nickname. Research. Research. When he comes on, when his super comes up, Avery Research. You know what that reminds <laughs> me of? Totally off topic. That reminds me of uh, the Burger King Kids Club when they had all the little people, like uh -huh. KidVid and stuff and yeah. wheels. and Yeah, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Research. Research. That's your new name. All right. Whenever so, you mess up in the booth, I'm going to be like, Research, man. <laughs> What else do you want to see of the, like, so that's another I 14. I, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know because it's only 20 games. And no matter what you put on it, people are going to bitch about it. I mean, honestly. Yeah. I mean, because sure. you, you, the Nintendo Classic people complained about that. The Super Nintendo people came out. Why wasn't this game? You're never going to make everybody happy. Side note, <laughs> Chrono Trigger should have been included on the Super Nintendo Classic. Perfect example. <laughs> Everybody agrees that was a game that you guys didn't put on there. I'm Nintendo just saying, of like, America, well, Nintendo Japan, I'm talking to you. You should have had Chrono Trigger. You had a bunch of great RPGs. You I had Final Fantasy VI. But in the comments. You also need Chrono Trigger, but that's fine. I heard that. Shots fired. You can also Chrono add Chrono Trigger. Trigger the same way you can have PlayStation games, whatever. Um, here, I don't know that I really want a PlayStation Classic. Like, I, I waited. I went to several stores to get an SNES Mini and an NES Mini. Because um, you didn't buy it the first round, did you? I tried to. Oh, I couldn't yeah. get it. Oh, yeah. I remember. Okay. Yeah. No, Time I out. tried to get one. Oh, yeah. Because I remember. So it was me, you, Laura Wheeler, um, our uh, old 6 o'clock producer. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Laura Wheeler. Mm -hmm. Richland, Lexington 5. Um, <laughs> just name people. They <laughs> just name it. Name it school yeah. districts. It was a bunch of people in the, in the newsroom who were trying to get Buying one. Buying them on Amazon because yeah. it, it dropped. Mm -hmm. I got one and turned right around and sold that thing. And I went... <laughs> I, I sat outside of a Best Buy in the rain in my car for, as soon as I got off after we did the 11 o'clock show, uh -huh. I sat in a parking lot in Best Buy waiting for the rain to come, or, you know, while it rained, probably eight hours until the store opened, for a guy to come to my car and tell me, oh, I'm out, we're I'm not going to have I'm it. I'm out. I'm out. What? This is the first time I'm hearing this. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. When did, wounds, what? They, they open up. I mean, yeah. Son. It was uh, the Best Buy that's, like you guys, you know what this is, but the Best Buy that's on Spring Valley by uh, the PetSmart. Yeah. Smart because, in the same token, the PetSmart lady came up to my car and told me, hey, you may have a mouse or something in your car right now because we lost an animal that crawled into the wheel. <laughs> True story. I didn't make that up. That really happened. You waited eight hours and why well, you ain't just tell me I'd have sold I'd have I'd have sold you the one I bought. You already sold it by then. No, I hadn't. The, yeah. it, the night that we bought it, that it was shipped. Yeah. I hadn't decided to sell it. Remember, I was gonna No, no, ask no this it. was after that. Oh, okay. Because I missed the first round. I was like, oh, there are okay. new shipments coming out. Oh, I okay. I thought but it was that night. Doesn't matter. They re-released it again though. this year and I got a European version. Fine. Son. Doesn't matter. Um Damn. 
but that's what happened. Whew. Weighed it out there. It hurt my, my soul. Car. It hurt my soul, too. I don't, where is your, where's your soul at? Isn't it right here in your thigh? I don't know where yeah, it is. That's, that that's where it moves around. Um, so, Son. yeah, I'm, I'm not sold on it yet. I'm not going to say I don't want it. Well, I think I said I don't want it. But I don't need it yet, but I, I need to see what the other games are. I'm going to be honest with you. I bought the first NES Classic, mm -hmm. sold that thing on eBay. Um, right now, you can walk in, because I texted you one day and was like, is it worth buying it? Because I saw, I saw this one, and I saw the NES, NES Classic in Walmart just sitting in there, and I was like, do I really want this? Because I have a red. Uh, I have the original Nintendo. Mm -hmm. I have a Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. I've got the 64. I don't have a Dreamcast. So don't leave that out. Um, <laughs> All right. Um, but my, this is my question. You talked about Chrono Trigger not being on it on uh, Super Nintendo, right? Mm -hmm. If this game isn't on it, will you will you say, is it no, a failure? Be, no, because PlayStation. Like I grew up with play. I didn't grow up with PlayStation. I grew up with Nintendo and Super Nintendo. So I was already older by the time PlayStation came out. I played a PlayStation, mm -hmm. but again, I'm not really gonna be upset on what's not on there because those aren't childhood memories. To me, me, this, if you're gonna do a classic, this has to be on here. The what? question is, how does Konami feel about this game since Hideo Kojima's not with Konami anymore? I think it's more an issue of what Sony's willing to, or what Konami will let be released on their system. That is true, because that was a problem with all the other systems. Right, right. <sighs> I mean, is retro gaming that big that we're going to now see in 10 years a Wii Classic? I think so. I think so. I think, I think we're going to see a GameCube Classic, a Nintendo 64 Classic. Yeah. Just another way to prepackage it. I mean, Nintendo, they will sell you the same thing over and over again. That's true. We're, we're learning that with the Nintendo Online shop that just came out that's reselling you Good Lord, stuff or whatever. Dude. So, Nintendo. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, to sum it all up, Still on the fence about the PlayStation Classic. May get one, may not. I don't know. Uh, so that's pretty much all we got for this uh, segment of, or this edition of pretty Press much. Play. I mean, the only reason why this is up here is because um, I bought this from Scratch and Spin. It was my birthday. And I love Batman. And I just, I saw this and I had to get it. So thank you, Eric. Um, Batman's my favorite character. Uh, right up there with Son. I mean, Batman is my dude. So I was upset. We're, we're running out of time, so you I'm can't talk about you. Batman, blah, blah, blah. I can't. Yeah, that's great. I can talk about Batman um, all the time. He's been Leroy Green. I've been Michael Patterson. Oh, you've been watching, what is our name at the show again? Press Play? Yeah, let's go to Press Play. That's, that's what we're going to go with. Is we may change it later, but we're going to nah, stick with Press won't. Play. For, and so yeah. I think we should give out an award. So every time we do one of these shows, uh -huh. it's, you know, like an attaboy. So I was going to give the award to you, but I'm going to give it to Avery, a.k.a. Research. Avery. That's for you. Good job. And I'm going to snatch that from Avery and give it to Adam because <laughs> I feel like I've, Adam's been moving behind the scenes. You guys don't even know. That um, is true. Actually, is you, true. you guys can split this thing. Yeah, split it. Avery, you get the bottom part. <laughs> yeah, split yeah. it. Yep. Don't Just, split that, man. This, this real thing. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, so that's it. Hopefully you liked it. If you didn't, let us know how we can be better. We're always going to try to improve. Uh, we, might take, we might take your suggestions. We might take your suggestions. We may not. Be nice. Be nice. I'm sensitive. There we go. Um, <laughs> catch us on YouTube. Catch us on Twitter. All at News19 Nerds. Uh, Instagram, News19 Nerds. Oh, yeah, we have Instagram. We do have Instagram account. We don't update it enough. We, we should. Need, we'll we get better to. about that. Uh, we need to. Yeah. Um, we got photos we can put up. Um, I need to, like, learn how to use Instagram. Well, that's a topic for a different day. Um, news19 Assemble. Hashtag News19 Assemble. That's our. Oh, hashtag. I used the hashtag again um, when I uh, tweeted at Brie Larson. News I think it's simple? Yep, I did. That's great. Killer um, game. Um, we out? I guess so. Bam, 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 bam! <laughs>